Hello, today I'm working on a MacBook Air. This is a 13 inch early 2020 MacBook Air, the A2179. This has a cracked LCD panel. So I don't know if you can make out the fact that it's cracked all the way down. Uh, it should be coming on. Oh, it's back to the, the login screen. So it's just a very dark screen, but I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, it's cracked. I'm going to hold the power button. Three, four, five. There, it's off. And we'll open it up, disconnect the battery, and go from there. So to open up a MacBook, you have to have the pentalobe, which is a five-pointed, very small, this is a P5, five-pointed Torx, or specialized Torx. These screws are have little rose gold shafts. The the screws along the back edge here. Actually, they're they're all rose gold colored, but these four along the back are longer. So now to remove this, there are two clips in the middle. Uh, so on this one, you just pry it open from. The air vent here so i'm going to try to get my fingernails under there yep and you can see that it's it's kind of opening but those two clips are holding there they go so these two clips lock into these two clips i've not opened a 2020 macbook air before very compact so the entire system board is is right here and i think that's got the storage and everything on it wow well fortunately i don't need to take that out all i need to take out is this little wireless antenna bar and then this bar along the back so there'll be a screw holding the antenna wires connect connected on there and then i will disconnect or take out these four torx and then the hinge screws, and then it comes off. So first things first, I'm going to disconnect the battery. So this little piece of tape here, I'm gonna get my little microscope. So there's a little piece of tape here that's covering the battery connector. So now, that's, now that I've peeled that back, you can see that the, the battery plugs in here and I just need to push that connector push that connector over so I'll grab a couple of spudgers I think I'll use this one there it's going okay so the battery's disconnected next I'm going to disconnect the what is that the antenna bar I'm using the iFixit instructions because I haven't done one of these before and I just want to make sure I don't miss anything so this is the antenna cable cover it's a t3 Torx so these are tiny t3 and that is a small screw and I'll just connect those antenna wires all right so those are up now I need to dis disconnect the display connector, which is under this little cover here. And these are also T3 Torx screws. So there's one there. And one here. And then I should be able to use a spudger to unplug that connector so it's right here I can get under the edge of it I hope yeah so now that's disconnected all right it's a little nerve-wracking not having ever done this before so now the next screws are T5 
slightly bigger and it's going to be four screws holding this this bar along the back so two over here two over here and i guess two in the middle um the black screws here so these should be t5 yep Okay, so now this antenna bar should come up. There's an antenna board in the middle that will need to thread through the opening. And what, what the iFixit guide says is to use the pointed ed of, edge of a spudger, or the point of a spudger, to gently lift up on this. It'll be held in by some adhesive, but it will come. And I just need to be careful not to rip this off. The antenna board and also to make sure that that display connector stays disconnected okay it's a little nerve-wracking so I'm just gonna point and to go on both ends and pry up a little bit I don't know. I don't like it. Okay. So the right side seems like it has come loose. The left side is still rather stuck. Let's see if we can get this to come up. So I pry up with the tool and then get my fingers in there and kind of wiggle it a little bit. Just need to make sure that everything else is loose and I don't want to damage the antenna wires that are sticking through the little gap in here it just feels like it's still it's really stuck I see so that whole thing is an antenna bar but what about I see so that comes up over this thing which is the display connector okay it's coming now there we go and then the display connector snakes through there wow so that was so this was sitting through there so ton of bar all right, so there's the display connector. Now let's take the hinges off, which are uh, it's T8 Torx. So we'll start on this side. Very tight. And then we'll go to the other side. I'm going to loosen these first because they're very tight. Okay, that's that should be everything that's holding this display assembly onto this laptop. So now I just need to open the hinge as far as it'll go, open the hinges as far as they'll go. And then the display and the, the body should be separate. There's kind of a magnet holding these together, isn't there? There we go. So I'm gonna hold onto the computer with both hands and let the display fall down onto my bench. Okay. Let's see, so that's the hinge. I can't 
figure out how that comes out of here. Oh, I see. Okay. So there's the computer free of the display assembly. Now I'll put the replacement. Important notice, please do not remove any screen protectors if you wish to return the item. Any item sent back without the protectors will not be considered for a refund. Okay, that's fine. Let's not take the screen protectors off just yet. It's the correct color. As far as I can tell, it looks good. There's a little mark here, but I think that's just in the screen protector. Where they've trapped some dust under the screen protector. Okay. So I need to take this tape off in order to get at that connector. So this has to come up under the onto the laptop itself, and now these corners have to go under the hinge, under the barrel of the hinge. And then I should be able to close this. I'm gonna tip this sideways and see if I can get these screwed in first. I don't want to. I don't want to force it closed and crack the screen in the bottom. That would be a disaster. So I've got it tipped up on the side here and I'm just going to put the screws in to make sure everything's lined up properly. Do not cross thread. There we go. Okay, let's see if this closes. No. Doesn't quite feel right. Just gonna loosen the hinges a tiny bit. Make sure everything is where it should be. Brilliant. Okay. So that feels right, it looks right. I'm gonna tighten these hinge screws. Okay, so reverse everything we just did. So this has to come through. Here. And then this screws in. So, don't need my T8 anymore. Go back to T5. I'm just going to start each of these four. Last two. All right, so the display connector can go back on here. Hopefully, that's lined up and it will just snap in place. Can't quite see what's going on with it. Hmm. Maybe I should unscrew this plate or loosen this plate while I do this. Yeah. So that there's some play in it. Can you see? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it was just, uh, just needed to make sure that it was lined up properly. And now I'll put that cover back on. And this goes to the T3, the smaller screws. So I'll put that in place up here. Boy, this is going to be fun. 
These screws are so small. I'll demagnetize the screw and remagnetize my screwdriver, and then hopefully I'll be able to get this into that hole. <laughs> Got that one. I just can't get over how small these screws are. Okay, so now the wireless antenna wires. Yep, they're both connected. And now the cover plate. So small. Uh, and then we'll plug the battery back in. If I can. I'm going to use a ceramic tweezers for this so I don't short anything out. It's just hard to get that wire bent back and get that slid into place. There we go. All right. So normally I'd go the other way around with the hinge closest to me. Moment of truth. Uh, turn it on. It's not coming on. Let's power it up. Oh, it's USB C. I don't like the way the screen is hitting the frame of the laptop. I feel like something might be bent in the chassis because these corners are very close to the screen. So I'm going to take the screen protectors off because it looks like this screen is fine. All right, that's it. Job done. It works perfectly and it fits like a glove. Very happy. Thanks for watching.